So uh, the way to put these things back, make sure you lift the needle to the highest. And this will also lift this base plate to the highest too. So uh, this is low. If you lift it, notice the movement of the needle goes to the top and also this goes to the top and that's important. And try to make this uh, piece to be completely on one side. So in other words, try to put this tip about at 12 o'clock. Let's try. Okay, that should be fine. So try to align this tip with this one here. The needle should be at the top. This plate should be at the top. So the way to put these things back, the shuffle, usually you cannot put it the other way. So it's very easy, just like this. You have the hook, the fork at the bottom and try to align the tip with the tip of the other piece there. It's not very logical the way it will sit in there, but at some point you will notice it will align here on the right side. It will stay, uh, if you want, horizontal. But it doesn't fit like a Lego bit or something like that. Let's try to rotate it a little bit. And at some point, you may see how it does kind of sit flat here on the right side. This is the position, but it can move a little bit like this. Let's try to put it back in place. It should not move in rotation. It should not be possible to move it. You can see the tip. It's almost flush with the top tip. Here at the bottom, it will just interlance or whatever you can see that. It's like the tip of the left part goes inside this groove. So that's how it sits. Just wiggle a bit to make sure it sits nice. After putting the shuttle back, you need to put the cover back. And the cover usually has a small tip, which will align with this tiny hole. Sometimes you need to force a little bit at the top, maybe lift this piece here a little bit to make place. Try to align the top and then make sure it sits. What's also important is see these are the two tabs that secure the cover and when you flip these plastic tabs do not flip them just like this this is not secure properly here it can move inside always try to overlap these bumps on both sides like that normally the thread of the bobbin itself should make like a six to the right which may not seem logical but check your uh, owner manual because oftentimes i think people will put this on the other side like this inside the bobbin but that's not correct the thread has to go this way like a six and has to make like a 180 degree here that will give it the correct tension so the thread has to come here in between this uh, these two sides and when you put the bobbin back have the thread to the left of this hook and this hook is going to fit into this groove here but keep the thread to the left. I'll try to do this without dropping the thread inside, which it just did. And keep the thread to the left like this. And then you can simply press down on the bobbin and you just align the hook with that small hole. And that's how you place everything back in place. Of course, this has this kind of locked in but you just press it down and make sure it sits in there maybe pull a little bit on it just try to pull see if it's properly secured make sure these are too secured and that's how you sit the thing back in place and this thread will just stay like that when the needle will drop it will just capture this thread it will move inside but you don't have to do anything more with this thread here